So we've been around diesels for a little while. Chances are you may have heard or you may have been unlucky enough to experience a runaway diesel. If you don't know what that is, stick around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So runaway diesel, what I mean by that is where the engine decides to run away on its own. So basically what happens is you come to a stoplight or you fire the thing up, you're doing your, your pre-trip in the morning or whatever, and the RPMs pick up all on their own, and the RPMs get higher and higher and higher until eventually the engine just basically self-destructs. couple reasons that this can happen one of them which I'm going to show you actually happened to one of our trucks and luckily it had a device that stopped that destruction from happening we'll talk about that after so basically what happened with the truck in our shop was the bearings went in the turbo and because of that the shaft had a bit of play it took out the seal and then oil started getting pumped into the charge air side of the turbocharger and because oil was being pumped in there it uh, it pumped it into the charge air cooler and then it built up enough of oil in the cooler that it started pushing it through and the engine started ingesting it diesels don't have a throttle plate right there's no way to control the amount of airflow so what happens is now you've got fuel being induced into the system and there's no way to control it and the RPMs go up and they continue to go up and they continue to go up until eventually the engine's running at such a speed that it's not designed for that speed and things start to come apart. You may lose your oil altogether and the engine overheats and things start to seize, it starts dumping coolant out. Who knows, you may even throw a connecting rod through the block. At this point, it's hard to say what's going to happen. But basically, the end result is catastrophic failure. Now, one thing that saved the truck that we had in our shop was it had what they call a PASS system. That's, it's an acronym. P-A-S-S. -S, passive Air Shutoff System. And what happens is, if you go above the maximum RPM that the engine's designed to go, there's a plate in the intake and it automatically shuts and closes off all the air. Keep in mind that you need three things to produce a fire. Take one of them things away and you have no more burn. So this is essentially what that's doing. You take the air away, you're starving the fire, it's going to die out eventually. So luckily, because that system's installed, it saved the motor. So we were able to put a new turbocharger on it and trucks up running today. Anyways, I hope I was able to give some of you an idea of what's going on when a diesel engine runs away and what you can do to prevent the catastrophic failure that comes shortly after it starts. Until next time.